This video will show you the basics of how the new Moodle websites are set up. You'll notice that each of your classes are set up in this box format. That will either be weekly or topic format, and that will be decided on by your professor. The only difference is that weekly formats will have dates in the boxes, and topic formats will not. The first thing you'll probably notice is that some boxes will have several things that look like links at the bottom of them. These will be things ranging from Word documents, PowerPoints, or PDFs, or they can also be your quizzes, drop boxes, forums, or any other activity that your professor has added. To view the assignment or file, simply click on it, and depending on what the assignment is, it will bring you to something like this. This is a Dropbox. Moodle doesn't actually call it Dropbox, but it works the exact same way. So your professor may put a description or instructions for the assignment here. A due date will show up here if they've added that, and you'll see I can upload my file here. Something else to note in Moodle is that you have this breadcrumb trail. This shows me where I've been. If I want to go back to my class, then I can use that trail to do so. If my professor has added a file, like a Word document or a PowerPoint, you'll notice that I can see what it is by the icon next to it. So if I want to view that file, again, I'll click on the link and it will open on my computer. A lot of your classes may have what's called a news form at the top. This is a place that your professor may put general announcements in like class cancellations or just reminders about tests and they will probably choose to also send you an email with the same thing but it's a good place to look for any news regarding your class. You will also have your calendar in Moodle. Whenever a professor adds something with a due date on it, it will automatically show up in my calendar and I can also hover my mouse over and see what it is. So here I can see August 15th my sample assignment is due. To view my grades in Moodle, I will look in my settings box, which will be in the bottom left hand side of my page, and click on grades. So the gradebook looks a little different than it did in OIS. For example, range is actually the possible points for that subject, but it still lists what the points are. Here is where my grade would be listed, and it also shows me the percentage that I got on that particular item. My professor may also add feedback on one item in my gradebook, and that will show up here. So that is the bare bones of how Moodle works. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us.